Big shout out to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. Constant chain punches to the face, to the face. Oh, oh and foot oh. out over here. What's going on guys, Fun Bros here. As you guys may know, self-defense is always such a hot topic. And there are so many different levels for so many different age ranges. There's a physical aspect, a mental aspect, de-escalation, avoidance. There is something for everybody. And in this video today, with the help of a professional martial arts coach and self-defense specialist, we're actually gonna be showing you real life self-defense techniques that you can actually use that are inspired by the characters in the new Mortal Kombat movie out in theaters now and on HBO Max. And by the way, thank you Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. And our expert today with over 20 years of martial arts experience, we got Jay Lee. Hey, what's up guys? And today we're gonna go over some basic moves inspired from the Mortal Kombat movie. There's a lot of real elements of martial arts that's displayed throughout the whole movie. You're not gonna teach us like Sub-Zero's freezing icicle stabbing move. I wish I could teach you guys how to throw ice balls, but we're gonna go over the realistic self-defense moves inspired by the Mortal Kombat film. And coming along for the ride and learning with us, we got Stephanie here. Hey guys, my name is Stephanie. I'm a fitness influencer and model. I'm here to learn some super cool moves. I am super excited. Let's go! We're gonna go over the basic level of self-defense and the advanced. The basic level, we want to create distance. We want to de-escalate the situation. We want to defuse the situation. Basically, we do not want to engage in the fight. You don't need to be a hero, okay? Just run away from the situation. The heroes, we can watch and film. The advanced level is when you have no choice but to engage in the fight. How you can maximize damage with minimal amount of effort. But before we get into any of the characters, we do want to talk about the number one most basic basic thing you have to remember when it comes to self-defense when you're facing an aggressive situation, which is creating distance. So I'm still in my fighting position no matter what. Okay, I keep my hands up. I'm not keeping it closed because that's threatening to you. Okay. You're thinking that I want to fight. I don't want to fight. Okay. And I'm communicating. Hey, I don't want to fight. I'm moving. I'm not moving back. That shows that I'm scared. It's going to give him a predatory sign to attack me. Keep my hands open just in case he attacks me. Even if he throws a straight punch, notice what I can do. I can parry the punches. I can parry the punches. I can still block. But this means surrender, surrender. I don't want any trouble. I just want to get out of the situation. And once I see that the coast is clear, I'm getting out of there. All right, so in this real quick demonstration, Stephanie has been followed by this bad guy and she's been trying to get away, but now she is cornered. Let's watch. Hey, what's up? What are you up to tonight? Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, where are you going? None of your business. Why is it none of my business? Uh, you need huh? to get away from me right now. Right? Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm oh, not yeah? trying to fight. I'm not trying to fight. Okay. I just want to get right. out of here. I just want to know where you're going. All right, but that's none of your business. I just want to know where you're going. All right, hey, don't touch me, all right? Okay. Don't touch me. All right. Okay? All right. Back up. Okay. Get away from me. Notice she had her hands up. She was ready to parry strikes. She was ready to guard her face. And notice how she wasn't moving back. She was confident. She looked strong. She was verbalizing what she wanted. She was communicating efficiently. She was loud and she was circling. Good footwork, good positioning, good communication skills. That prevented the fight. Yo, I love that to start off with. That was very, very simple, non-combative, but still got out of the situation. But now let's talk about what the characters might do. All right, so our first character is Sonya Blade. Everybody's familiar with her. She's special forces, meaning that she's actually trained in probably a mixture of martial arts. She's typically trained in uh, Kempo, Taekwondo, and also uh, Krav Maga, obviously, because that's the military martial arts. All right, so for our first base level move to get out of this situation, Jay, if I'm trying to choke you and I go in for this, what are you gonna be doing? I'm just gonna parry it out. I gotta need more meat <laughs> on here. Okay, okay, okay. When it cool. comes again, I can parry oh. outwards. Or I can parry inwards. Ooh. Up to you. So now, what if my hand actually makes okay. it to your throat and I'm trying to choke you like this? Okay, so, makes it, boom. I wanna be balanced. The worst thing that could happen to you is if, he, if the guy chokes you and you just fall on the ground. Okay, you wanna be balanced once again in your fighting stance. Keep your hands up, sign of surrender. Also distracts him, right? Mirror side attacks the wrist, simultaneously attacking the trachea. C shape strike the trachea right over oh. here. Boom. Notice how I'm not attacking the forearm. Too much muscle, too much bone here. I'm isolating the wrist joint. Okay, I want to slap away the wrist joint and notice how I move my head the other way. This motion. And then I am not letting go of this. And by the way, thank you Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. Because if I let go of this, what can he do? He's going to boom, clock me. 
I want to keep it locked and loaded and attack. Actually, I'm really surprised about the C-shaped strike because I would always think that you're supposed to punch someone when you're getting attacked. Yeah, the problem is not a lot of people know how to make a proper fist. They can break your knuckles pretty easy. You're supposed to punch okay, your yeah, first two strong knuckles and make a really strong fist. A lot of times when you're nervous, your adrenaline's pumping, your body gets loose and people don't know how to punch properly. You're gonna end up hurting yourself more oh. than the other guy. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Oh, oh, nice. Can't face it. Oh. Nice. Oh. oh. Dave, you want to get some in? Oh, everybody, right, everybody, right, everybody, right, right, everybody get in. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Get some yeah. In. See, oh. this guy's got a pretty thick neck, but just good enough for the- Oh! 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 oh. 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 Okay, so for the advanced level of the Sonya Blade Krav Maga self-defense, what do we got? The guy chokes you, and the base level doesn't work. And I'm really strong, by the way. Yeah, if this doesn't work and you're really struggling, if this doesn't work, you have to make sure to transfer that C-shape strike to trachea into an elbow strike, into a knee strike, holding the back of the neck, and then put the oh. out over here, and then, boom, stomp the head. Okay. That's oh, a little man, bit more advanced. I was advanced. just feeling out how strong your neck was, bro. Why'd you do that? <laughs> So our second Mortal Kombat character that we can learn something from in real life is Raiden, the god of thunder. Now you're probably thinking, thunder, lightning, it comes from the sky, it's very loud, but the real life version is the tactical flashlight and the keychain alarm. Yeah, so the flashlight, a lot of self-defense specialists argue it is the most important self-defense tool. A lot of people that try to attack you, they do not want to be exposed. They want the identity hidden, but once you shine a flashlight at them, it shows that, hey, I know who you are. If you mess with me and I report you to the cops, I know exactly how you look. Secondly, it's gonna blind the crap out of them, right? That's gonna buy you some time to run away, or if you want to engage, you can attack. Base level situation, the attacker is a little bit further away from you, and all you gotta do is just shine the light. Hey, I know who you are, I see your face, I see your face. You got good lighting on that photo, so you're clearly gonna see my identity. I don't want that to happen. So I personally have a keychain alarm already, and I really love it. Jay, what would be the best way to use this at a baseline level? Most attackers don't want attention. They want to do their crime and get out. They don't want to be exposed. They don't want anyone to know. This, however, tells everyone in the vicinity, there's a problem. Someone's getting attacked. Something bad's happening. Hey, I know what you look like. I know where you are. Get away from me. Notice how as she was flashing the flashlight towards me, she said she knows who I am. She said she can see me. As an attacker, I do not want to be exposed. My identity should not be exposed because there are going to be consequences. And that scares me. That prevents me from doing anything bad, from attacking. It gives her control. And, and at the end of the day, anything that can buy you a few seconds to figure out what you want to do and how you want to exit is really important. So not only can the defender use this as well, but also a bystander, just someone in the crowd seeing an attack, you can just pull this alarm to just let everyone know that something bad is happening. So our third character is Cole Young. He's actually the new Mortal Kombat character and it's played by Louis Tan, your friend. Yeah, Louis Tan's a good friend of mine. Comes from a fighting background of okay. real fighting, real martial arts. And so we're gonna break down certain moves that we saw in the trailer. Okay, what is Cole Young's style in the movie? So his style is pure MMA. He does all his moves on his own because he's classically trained in martial arts. All right, so let's learn some basic MMA moves for self-defense. All right, so we got the front push kick or the T. Notice how as soon as he comes in, I'm just gonna oh. throw my leg. Okay, I'm using the ball of my foot to drive through. Boom, right back. Notice how I chamber my knee up and I chamber it right back. Why? Because I don't want to capture my foot. A lot of people say don't use kicks unless you've practiced them a lot. Are they talking about like just a roundhouse kick? You don't want to use in a street fight if you haven't trained a roundhouse kick for months or sometimes even years. Because sometimes when you do a roundhouse kick, you might be too slow and you might catch it. And once he catches your leg, he could throw you down, he could hit your face, for example. And also if your range is off and you kick the guy with your foot, you might even hurt your foot more than you hurt the guy. A proper roundhouse kick, you wanna kick with your full shin so you can blast the ribs. Right, so the easiest kick to do to create distance is the teep, aka the push, the push kick. kick. Yes, but your hands are up, same side, same side arm, thrown down to maximize the power. Notice I'm using my hips to drive through. I'm using my hips to drive through. I chamber in, and I wanna chamber right back my original position. Why? because I don't want to catch my foot. If I go in and out quickly, boom, it's used as a spear, it's used as a, a stabbing mechanism, create damage and to create space. And once again, thank you Warren Brothers for sponsoring this video. Please do a push kick on me. Oh, oh, oh God. Yo, any lower. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a demonstration. 
All right, so when it comes to the character Cole Young who specializes in MMA, what's the advanced version for those who are more experienced? The advanced version, if you wanna get more momentum, more power, we're gonna go for the jump scissor push kick, okay? The way I do that is I lift up my front leg, I lift up my front knee, it serves as a distraction mechanism. He's focused on this because he doesn't see that coming. And notice in that trailer, what Cole Young did, what Lewis Tan did, he had a jumping start. So now I'm moving and I'm going, driving my knee up and I'm kicking as hard as I can to the face, to the chest. And then from there, you can follow through. From here, you can follow through with the Superman oh. punch, oh. elbows, you can work oh. on knees, and oh. low kicks, do whatever you want. Dude, it's getting crazy in K-Town right now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for our fourth character from Mortal Kombat, we got Hong Lao. He is known for using his hat as a weapon. In the movie, he slices people with it. But how do we use our clothes to help us, whether it's as a weapon or at least a distraction? First thing you can do with the hat, throw it at them as a distraction. Okay. Throw it at them and then run. Throw it at them, do a kick to the groin and then run. Okay, so that's the basic level is a distraction to buy you a couple seconds or to just maybe distract them so that you can kick them. All right, so our final character that we're talking about is Liu Kang. He's probably the most famous character of all played by Ludi Lin in this movie. So shout out to Ludi. Liu Kang is known for Kung Fu. And then also in the movie, of course, he can make a ball of fire. What are some basic Kung Fu moves? So you can use it for defensive blocks, 360 defense. If okay. you come from the attack from the top, from the okay. top, or attacking from the top. I can block here, right? Okay. Notice how my elbows are nice and strong. Everything's ah. angled out. You come from the bottom, you come from the bottom. I'm here. Everything is firm. You're using okay. the form, using the, the blade of form to attack. What would be some more advanced Kung Fu moves? So you want to go over some counter attacks. So off that block, off that block, boom, you can attack as well. You can do a lot of different things, which is based okay. off Chinese martial arts. What about chain punches? How do we get the chain? Chain punches look really cool. Chain punches, do they okay. work? Chain punches, yes, they work if you practice them enough. A lot of people chain punch from here. They just do this. It has to come from the chest. You have to do it fast and you have to use your whole body to progression. Ideally, you will do a chain punch to the face though. Constant chain punches to the face, to the face. Yo, that video was so dope. I was watching, I had no idea that Mortal Kombat characters moves could connect so much to real applicable device and self-defense. Just to reiterate, recap in a very big picture sense, what did you want people to know about self-defense? So guys, most important thing, if you can de-escalate the situation, if you can defuse the situation and just get out of that dangerous place, that would be the best case scenario. If you don't have to fight, don't fight. If you could run, just run. We don't have to fight, but if you do have to fight, you have to inflict the most amount of damage efficiently, as fast as possible, and get out. All right, Steph, what did you learn from today? I actually learned a lot. I didn't know a lot of these moves and that I could use a lot of these tactics to defend myself, but I'm definitely gonna need more practice to feel more comfortable and safe. Yeah, at the end of the day, guys, we know that watching one YouTube video isn't gonna make you a master at anything, but hopefully just this just sparks some discussion and we are able to use Warner Brothers Mortal Kombat movie as a starting point, as a conversation to get into self-defense, you know? So remember, it's something that you have to practice but also remember that number one get yourself out of that situation stop it before you even get there shout out to warner brothers for sponsoring this video mortal kombat is now out in theaters and on hbo max share this with somebody you know i just think it's great to get the, just the mind sparked and sometimes you do got to use you know something dope like pop culture like mortal kombat just to get your mind running also so shout out to lewis tan Thank yeah. you for the motivation, brother. Yo, you, we gotta see you in the next Mortal Kombat 2 or Mortal Kombat 3. For okay. sure, we gotta oh see Jay in it. I'm <laughs> coming, bro, I'm coming. <laughs> Guys, in the comments down below, let us know what are some other basic and real life self-defense techniques that you've heard. That's it for the video. Make sure you hit that like button. And until next time, we out. Peace. Here, four, six, four, six, out over here. Constant chain punches to the face, to the face. Small man punch, elbows. They can work on knees and low kicks. I'm, I'm out.